Common mistakes for parents is knowing maybe the tendency to think that I'm a parent too, that we know best. We don't. You know, kids evolve, they change, we change. So it's good to try and understand each other and be on the same footing and be more compassionate. Good afternoon, my name is Alexandra Twitcher. I'm the Guidance and Career Counseling Coordinator at Mentari Intercultural School, Jakarta. One of the things that people don't know is that all of us, whether it be parents, students, teachers, counselors, we need to be aware of our feelings like every day and notice if there are spikes going up or down, note it down and evaluate ourselves. Maybe there was a trigger that it's really going up, that we're a little bit more emotional. Everybody has different ways of expressing their emotions. It could be anger, it could be sadness, it could be um, depression. So it's just good to be aware of our own feelings for everybody and not be afraid to seek help, um, to reach out. I mean, even counselors, sometimes we need to reach out. I think the stigma of um, it's so wrong to go to a psychologist or counselor when you have a problem because it's not. It's just like talking to a friend, you know, like last year this happened and I noticed, for example, I'm just giving an example, and I noticed I have more of a tendency to do ABC. Um, is there a correlation and what's a better way of coping so I can reduce the tendency to do ABC because my actions affect a lot of people around me, loved ones, you know, especially. So I think um, the, the courage maybe to, to say, hey, you know, I need help. We, ha we are actually assisting parents. There are some parents that come to me and or come to us and say, miss, my child is blah, 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 blah. And then we reach out to the student. The student does not want to reach back. So we just support the parents to be able to support the child better. Mm -hmm. Students, I think sometimes the tendency for children to overstep their boundaries a little bit too much because of this age and time. You know, sometimes parents are not in a good mood or, you know, something's happened. And so I think it all boils down to good communication and being mindful of what we are saying and doing. I, th I think it's an, <laughs> I think it's an ego thing. You know, kids always feel at a certain age, they know best, you know, like I'm an adult. I don't need you and all of that. But at the end of the day, parents have gone through a lot are supposedly wiser yeah with all the experience and everything they've had so being able to have all their egos be able to be managed and have that kind of edu you know conversation you know mom you've gone through this you know what did you do uh, i mean the answers might not be relevant to this day but at least maybe some kind of reference for the children i think the benefit is amazing because you could do amazing things if you can manage your feelings. You could go beyond what your comfort zone, be creative. But if you can't manage your feelings, there could be a lot of hurdles that you will not be able to overcome, whether it be academics or whether it be in your social life, family life, etc. For parents, I think let's Please join our parenting workshops because that's where we all learn and share. Uh, we always have parenting workshops scheduled at least once a semester and sometimes there are workshops also organized by the other campuses. For students, please um, enjoy the guidance counseling sessions that we have or the workshops that we have. Give us input on workshops that you feel you need if we are not providing the workshops for you. My name is Alexandra Schur and I'm the Guidance and Career Counseling Coordinator.